Backstage at First to have Big D from KD, the only B intern, John, and I told myself I wasn't going to sing it, dude. Don't do it. <laughs> so don't do Here it. is Jason <laughs> Derulo. Oh, you're the man. You're the man. How you, you doing, man? man? I'm so good, man. How you doing? Not bad. We saw you here at Star Party. Things have progressed for you career-wise. Congratulations yeah, on that. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, man. Uh, where are you at as far as how, how are you feeling your CD? You, you've performed these songs a few times now. <laughs> are you ready for new stuff? Have you implemented any new stuff that you may have written? Well, uh, I'm in the process of uh, recording my, my second album, man, which is really exciting because you know, I've been around the world and back, you know, and I've seen a lot of things, have gone through a lot of things, and I feel like I've grown so much as a, as a, as a writer, as a singer, and as a man even, you know what I mean? So um, I'm excited for this next project. Can you believe that? Like, because you, like, you have a voice and you're able to sing, it's taking you places that 90% of people will never go. You know, I mean, it's, it's a blessing, man, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm 21 years old and I, and, I have, and I have seen a lot, you know, so I definitely, you know, consider it a, a, a blessing. You know? That was cool. You, uh, you don't want to tell everyone the name of the next CD, do you? Uh, you know, you I, don't I have, have to if you I don't have, want to. I have two, no, I, I can't, but I have two names that I think are really, really strong. It'll be one of the two. Okay. I can tell you that. And you'll let me know. As oh, absolutely. As you know, so. Yeah. Appreciate that. <laughs> Every year, Jason, there's new like pop acts hit the scene and barely sell them. Only a couple will make it. Yeah. And from like your class, I guess, 2009, Kesha, Bieber, and you. Do you know why like you three rose above the rest of the pack? Um, I, I, I don't I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I do see a, a sense of passion in, uh, in Kesha and in Bieber as well. Um, so, so maybe it's that, you know, I don't really know, some people connect there. And I mean, you, you've all got to have, you've got to have love for every track, I mean, because it is yours. But what's one that if somebody was like, we got to make a song disappear forever, what's one would you pick? <laughs> man, I, I don't think I could do that, man. I, you know, I recorded 300 songs to make sure, make sure that every single song was really one of my babies. That would be like sending one of my kids away, you, you, you know? You, you can never really pick a child. You know, to some parents would. <laughs> some <laughs> parents would. <laughs> Me. <laughs> His parents would pick him. Oh man, that's messed up. Man. Well, anyway, that's what it is. It's funny though, I saw a video of you and JR in the studio in the songwriting process for you. Mm -hmm. I was blown away. Can you explain that to our listeners, how you write songs? Yeah, uh, I guess every every song is, is different, but like there's a there's a, a formula I like, like to follow. Um, I'll go into the booth and I'll start with some melodies most of the time. Um, I have a concept in mind and uh, I'll just like mumble some different melodies and, and uh, in these melodies you know there's there's uh, a feeling and you know you can tell that by going to different countries and, and the, the effect that my music has on these people. It's, it's the melodies you know because they don't understand what I'm saying per se but they can still enjoy the music and still learn all the lyrics because the melodies have a feeling in them. So I'll start with the melody and then I'll decode the lyrics um, most of the time. That video just blew me away. That was the coolest thing I've seen. I was like, wow. Because me, we write parody songs, I'm like struggling to rhyme cat and something else. And then you're just <laughs> nailing these tracks. That was amazing to watch. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't use the pen thing. I just, you know, go in and, and let it rip. Because I, I, think, I think music should be conversational. I don't think it should be contrived. You know, it's, it's a feeling, man, that, that is, you know, that, that, that should be inside of you and should be inside the listener as well. Craziest thing a fan has ever done for you or tried to meet you? I uh, had a fan wait in a, 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 a janitor's closet to jump on the stage. And when she got on the stage, she hugged me and would not let me go. No matter how hard the security were trying to get Did you just laugh? I mean, you just kind of laugh it off? No, I mean, I, I was smiling, you know, I was smiling because I was in the middle of the song, you know, so I, like, I couldn't stop the song. So I, I just kind of continued. That's funny, man. Speaking of crazy stuff fans are doing, there's actually a girl that, I don't know what time doors open here tonight. Six. Six? There's a girl that's been outside since we got here. With her mom, and they're just chilling out there all by themselves. She's got the iPod on, 
to your album, uh, and mom's got one of your butt in, and she's got the other of your butt in, just chilling. Oh, uh, that's awesome. Wait, man. that's sick, man. It's so inspiring, man. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, hear stories about that every day, man. It's, it, it never, it never gets old, man. It's, a, it's, it's amazing, you know, because I write these songs on my own time, and you know, to have the world just take to them like that, it's, you know, it's really inspiring. Now I gotta ask you one more thing. I know you got things to do and you gotta run. Have you ever had a secret handshake? Or do you have a secret handshake I, now? Man, I had several secret handshakes growing up. Man. All right, we gotta we gotta get up for this part. Yeah, let's do that. We gotta get up for this part. Okay. So, intern John and myself have a secret handshake. So we'll show you ours first. Okay? Please do. So it goes like this: forward, backward, and then that's okay, it. Nice. So. That's, that's yeah, tight, right? Yeah. Justin right. Bieber hated it. Yeah, and he, he made fun of this one too. It goes forward, backward, and then you kind of like that. Like that. Okay. So it would be like. Oh. All right, you guys. This one's better. Yeah, none of them. They're both, <laughs> both kind of. Yeah. You got, you, can you there teach us one? Can you teach us a better one? Yeah. I, well, this is one, one that my band, me and my band do right now. So it's. Up high, yeah, and then bring it down, clap, right? I can do that, yeah, that, and then chest bump. Okay, right? but you gotta jump a little oh, bit. Okay, <laughs> so it gets this hack for the shit. Here, I can't jump, I can't jump that high, but let's do it. Yeah, right now. Jason Derulo, love this guy, man. Wish you tons of success. Thank We're you. talking to Auburn, too, so sit tight. Uh, thanks, dude. Appreciate oh, good, it. Man. My pleasure, man. Hey, it's Big D from KDWB. Intern John in front of First Dab. Hey! Uh, Mr. Up? Derulo is performing tonight and somebody we're very proud of. James. Oh, that's James cool. Brown. That's Get up here at First Dab. Uh, awesome. Repping the MSP, Auburn. Hi. How you doing, girl? I'm good. I like your shirt. Thank you. You're selling them on the inside, but there are no 3X this Auburn nice. shirts. There's not? I'm sorry. We'll work I'll, on that. We'll work on that. Make it like a tank top for you. Appreciate it. Yeah, like a baby yeah. tee or Don't something. Don't let him play you. Don't, yeah, why you gotta... I got you. Dude, right. being a bigger guy <laughs> is not a bad thing. I have not been ganged up on. It's yeah. actually quite sexy. Thank yeah, hey. <laughs> hey, what's going down? Uh, so, Auburn's got a big song, La La La, which is phenomenal. Um, the video is great. You like it? I love the video. What was it like to shoot your first video? It was dope. The video didn't take too long. We were actually in this loft in LA that I did not want to leave. So it was fun. I had food all day. It was great. I dig food. I dig food too. So, we have so much in common. <laughs> so what, what's it like to be, I mean, this is your, these are the sidewalks you grew up on. Yeah. Although I, I don't mean that the way it sounds. I, I wasn't home. She had a house. <laughs> but. What's it like to go from here? I mean, the Target Center's right there. Yeah. First, First Ave is right here. Block E. What's it like to come from here to, to be shooting a video in LA? A music video. It's dope. It's very humbling, but it's dope at the same time because I remember watching a concert, a Christina Aguilera concert in there. And now I'm about to perform right across the street over here. People are going to be watching me. Is that so dope? It's going to be pretty dope. I'm excited. That, that is just unreal. And I'm back home. I want to stay longer. I'm only here for a day. I want to stay longer. You know what? And beat up John. But John, John's got a question, but let me bring this first. Yeah. Think, think of it this way. You want to be home, but the longer you're away from home, the more successful you are. True. Take that knowledge. I hate that wisdom. I'm just saying. You can John, tell your, your friends. John, your wisdom, Big D. <laughs> Go ahead, John. So, since you've been back home, how many ticket requests have you gotten? Is your phone been going off the hook? You're like, hey, we went to preschool. Can I go to the show tonight and meet Jason? My phone is on silent. Is it really? Just because of that? <laughs> just because of that? Because I only, I only can get in so many of my people, and pretty much everyone else already bought the tickets, so they were kind of responsible about it, surprisingly. Um, <laughs> I'm getting in, like, my family and best friends and stuff like that. Oh people God. that I have not heard from since I was in fourth grade, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Right. I didn't expect to get your call or your text, so you kind of hit me off guard there next time any ex-boyfriends gonna be at the show i was gonna give a ticket to my ex-boyfriend but he has a girlfriend now so i don't care just to be like ha huh. <laughs> be like gotcha you messed up be I like remember remember when you hung Look, out i with saw me? your tweet <laughs> <laughs> remember when we hung out on a saturday night well now you need a ticket to hang out with word? Me on saturday night. word I dig no that. you don't need a ticket boo. you just don't you can't have a girlfriend that's what i'm saying so as far as uh what we're doing musically we talked to you before and, uh, you know, you see how the first single goes as far as putting together 
an album and all that. Where where are you at with your next step musically? Musically, well, we have a possible second single. I think it's kind of solid. What's Don't it called? You? The cameraman is Aaron, guys, and he's super dope, and I believe he knows. It's called Him and Me. Him and Me. You're, I'm gonna perform it tonight. Oh really? So okay. You like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, I'm performing it tonight. I believe that's possible, possible second single, and I fell in love with the song like right after writing it. So hopefully you guys like it. Are you so so? You've done La 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 a bunch. Are you tired of it yet? No. Not at all. La 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 La. I'm not tired of it. Do people? Do you love watching people else freak out when you do it? <laughs> no. Like when like when you start and everyone's like, Oh my God! Yeah, I get I get kind of hyped off of it because while I'm doing other songs, like they're like La La La. I'm like, word. Like, <laughs> okay. Wait. <laughs> so they're excited about it still. So I'm happy. That's nuts. What's the coolest thing? How? When did the tour start? When did you hook up with Jason? It started on the 27th. Okay. So you, you've been to a few places. What's it been like so far? It's been cool. It's been, it gets better and better because I get more comfortable on stage. I like interact a whole lot more with the audience. You know what I mean? So any any weird like fan? You know what was strange? Really, really strange. I kept getting this tweet from this guy. Where were we at? Detroit? I don't know. He tweeted me and he said, um, I have a rose for you. I'm gonna, yeah, right? And I, but I thought it was sweet. God, John Creeper. Can I have a lock of your hair? No, 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 no. It wasn't even like that at first. I was, I was flattered. I have a rose for you. There's Jason. It says, I have a rose for you. And then, what did he do? Oh, yeah, a rose got thrown on stage, right? So I got the rose and I tweeted back. I said, oh my gosh, I got your rose. Thank you so much for my rose. And he's like, come to the uh, merch so I can meet you. I'm like, I didn't tweet back. I'm like, I'm come nervous. alone. Right, right. And so I didn't come. I get all these tweets like, why didn't you? You never came. Like, but he was really mad. Like exclama exclamation points at the end. You know what I mean? That's how you know. Yeah, and he's like, you just lost a fan for life. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry that I didn't go. Lol. To the <laughs> you could have been like, I was sick. No, I wasn't though. That's before the sickness. You're like, I was trying to la 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 leave. I was just. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> We're gonna have to save that one. We're gonna save that one. The idiot. <laughs> I try, guys. So that was that was the creepiest thing. Shout out to Twitter. It's at Call Me Auburn. All together at Call, call Me Auburn. Auburn. So what's uh, what's next? I mean, we know that you you got you got the second single. It'll be second single. I'm I hoping think. so. If we, not, it'll be a better song. So. We want more Auburn. Yay. I'm gonna start I a campaign. Me. We want more Auburn. I like John too, but I love Big D. What? Why did you, you said yeah. that John was mean earlier. What, yeah. what happened? This this is what happened. We What's had a mean? we had a previous interview. Yeah. La did. Like I'm gonna do the neck roll. Last time I was home uh, or whatever. Yeah. We did. And I was um in the studio. KDWB with, studio. <laughs> I was in the studio with with John KDWB studio. But you, after you were in. Yeah. After I was in with Big D, by the way, and he was interviewing me, right? And. I guess I said something. He was like, "Oh yeah, I wouldn't have said that." Like in the she camera. Was being mean to me. During the interview. No, I wasn't. Yeah, no, he I wasn't. no reason. <laughs> yeah, see, this guy, I feel like I'm at home right now. Thanks, no, mom. Wasn't. It's hitting me. <laughs> so you've been home for like a day. What's the first thing you did when you got home? What'd you eat? What'd you do? Well, I got home at night. Okay. I, I came early. I drove with my sister back from Milwaukee, so I surprised my mom. How was Milwaukee show, real quick? It was dope. Freaking dope. I have a cold, so my throat's been, my voice has been going out, but they were still like down. They were like, I was like, I'm gonna be real. <laughs> my throat, my, my voice is gone, but maybe we can get it to come back. And they were just like, yeah. They didn't care. <laughs> so it was good. Milwaukee was good. Minnesota will be even better. And I came home, ate some greens, surprised my mom with sleep, and woke up, ate more greens, got dressed, and came to see. Is kids. there anywhere like, I'm home, I gotta go? I wanted to go to the mall, America. And you're like, That's like my mall. Yeah. I'm gonna, we'll, we'll take it right now. Let's go. Right. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have any money, though. So, so we got to bring Aaron, too. Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> we'll sing in the corner for cash. It's fine. <laughs> That's a video of Aaron leaving. Oh, man. Uh, so Auburn is going to kill tonight, and we hope that you come back soon, come back often, but not too often, like I said. I will try and come back as often as I can, as long as it's cool enough and I'm still getting stuff done. And you can holler at us on Twitter. Wait, That's what I'm talking about. I hit you guys back already. Did you? Hey? I haven't yeah, even that. Well, now I gotta check. Sir, I gotta check my Twitter. I retweeted your tweet. Did you? Sweet. God, I feel honored. Now. Local girl Auburn. Appreciate <laughs> hanging out. But I'm sick and tired of the life.